this video we're going to look at how to find the area of a compound shape and then particularly the L shape. Okay, um, There is another video on of our compound shapes and uh, this one's really just focusing on, the, focusing on the L shape but you can sort of see from this technique how to do any compound shape. So we have got a typical compound shape or an L shape backwards there and we have got some measurements so we've got the tops two centimeters the height of the whole thing is nine this bit's three and this part's three okay so whenever you're doing the area of a compound shape the first thing i tend to do is to find the missing sides first of all so let's find the, consider the base well it's three across here and two across here well three and two well that would make five for the base five centimeters the whole height of it is nine and if this part's three well that means that this part here has to be six now obviously it doesn't look like 6, not very good drawn, but if we've got 3 and 6, then that would make 9. So the first thing we've done is just label the sides, the missing sides. Next thing, to find the area of the compound shape, you're going to split it into the two rectangles. So you can either split it horizontally or vertically. Um, it doesn't matter which way you do it, as long as you make sure that you multiply the, the right numbers together. Okay. So what we're going to do is in this one, is I'm just going to split it horizontally like this. Okay, to find the area of the rectangle, this one, the, the area rectangle in the bottom, this one, what we're going to do is we're going to multiply the height by the width, so we're going to do 6 times 5, which equals 30 centimetres squared. So the area of this one is 6 times 5, which is 30 centimetres squared. Now, the area of this one, now the width of it is obviously 2, and the height of it is 3. Some people might make the mistake of going for 9, but 9 goes beyond where you've cut it. Okay, so it's going to be 2 times 3. So you can do 2 times 3, which equals 6 centimetres squared. And then there, the whole thing would be 6 plus 30. So there is 36 centimetres squared. You've done the 6 plus the 30 to give you 36 centimetres squared for the area of the whole thing. Let's have a look at another example. Okay, so here we've got another example of a question. And we've been asked to find the area of this compound shape. So the head of the whole thing is 15, and the head of this part is 5, so therefore this length here is going to have to be 10 centimetres. The whole way across the bottom is uh, 12. This part here is 7, so therefore this length is going to have to be 5 centimetres. Okay, now what we're going to do is split it. And again, it doesn't matter which way you split it, as long as you make sure you multiply the right numbers. Uh, this time we're going to split the um, thing vertically. Okay, so this rectangle here, we have got 7 is the width, the length is 15, so you do 7 times 15, which equals 105 centimetres squared. Notice I didn't use the 12 on the bottom because the 12 isn't the width of this, it's 7. This one here, it's 5 high and 5 wide, so if you do 5 times 5, you get 25 centimetres squared. Notice I didn't again use the 12 because the, uh, the length of this one's 5 and the height of it is 5. So because this is 105, and you add on the 25, and you'd get 130 centimetres squared. And that's how you find the area of an L shape.